What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one, we're gonna be using MacroDroid to do a really interesting uh, summon option. So before we start this video, I wanna show you a quick demonstration. Okay, so I have my phone here. If you flip it upside down like this, and if I swipe forward now, it'll go summon forward. And then if I swipe backwards, it would summon it back. So, uh, you can actually see here on my phone, it says summoning, and just from a simple swipe, my car will summon forwards. Uh, it won't do this if I'm swiping any other way. Okay, so I want to show you how to uh, utilize this, how to set this up. So we're going to go to add a macro, and then we're going to need a trigger. So we need user input, and we need a fingerprint gesture, and then we're going to go swipe up. And then what's really interesting is if you click this, we can add a constraint right to the fingerprint gesture. So we're gonna hit add constraint, and then we're gonna go to sensor, and then we go to device facing. Uh, it's kind of interesting. You see the little green check marks? That's depending on however you're holding your phone. You might've heard my audio totally mess up there, but uh, we want it facing down. And then we're gonna hit the check mark there. And we have fingerprint gesture up, device facing down so you can swipe up all you like unless your device is facing down like flat it's not going to work so we can hit copy here because we want to make a copy of it and then we're going to hit paste and we're going to configure and we're going to change it from up to down and then that still stays the same so if our if we swipe up it's going to do something if we swipe down it's going to do something uh, pretty similar to the swipe to unlock, we have to add an if statement and then an else statement. So we're going to go conditional loop, uh, if clause, we're going to hit the plus, uh, macro droid specific, trigger fired. So basically we're saying if the this is fired, uh, you know, then we're going to do something. And then we're going to click here and we're going to add an else if. Uh, we're going to add a condition to it, macro droid specific, and again, down. Uh, you can make it extremely simple just to see if it's working before you go any further. So if we hit child action, uh, there's actually a really neat thing on here. So if we go to, uh, what is it under? I want to say it's under device actions and we go to vibrate. Uh, you can have it do all kinds of really neat things like Star Wars. I just don't know how well that displays in the video for you guys to like understand. So let's not do that one. <laughs> But uh, let's go to notifications and we're going to go to uh, display notification and we'll call it test and we're going to say uh, it is working. Check mark, hit OK. And pretty much if our phone is upside down and we swipe up, it's going to happen. So let's give this a name. We're going to call it uh, summon swipe. So it doesn't actually do that yet, but uh, we're gonna get there. And you have to give it a name before you can hit the plus in the bottom right. And we wanna make sure it's working before we go any further. So let's hit the plus. We can flip our phone up, we can swipe up, and then you can see here, we got a no notification, it is working. So we can continue uh, fixing this up. So uh, we're gonna go back to summon swipe. Uh, we're gonna click here, we're gonna delete this. We don't need that anymore. Uh, we're going to add a child action. Uh, we're going to go to applications. We're going to get the tasker plugin for Tesla. And then we're going to go to vehicle, mother frunker, action. And then we want to go to uh, summon. And then direction, we're going to make it go forward. We're going to hit the check mark. So if we swipe up, it's going to go forward. We're going to just hit copy. It just makes life easier. Uh, paste action above. No, we don't want that. So here, paste action above under the end if, and then we're gonna go back here, we're gonna go to configure, and we're gonna change this from forward to uh, reverse. Hit the check mark, and there it is. Uh, it is this simple. Uh, I know you're thinking, hey, do you really wanna have swipe to summon your car? Well, think about it this way. If you're not close enough to your car, it's not gonna summon anyway, and uh, I mean, you have to be relatively close to it. You have to be able to see it, uh, at least in Canada anyway. And you also have to have your phone flipped upside down. So if you give your phone to someone, they can't just accidentally swipe and have your car start driving itself. So uh, yeah, I thought this one was kind of neat. 
let me know in the comments down below will you guys be using this one and do like the video do subscribe for the latest and greatest tesla content and as always thanks for watching i will see you guys next time